Hey everybody, it's Dave from Project People. Uh, I'm very excited to have with me today Ben Q. This is Felix from Ben Q. He is the senior field engineer. Am I correct, Felix? Field applications engineer. Field applications engineer. We just talked about that and I already screwed it up. So we're very excited. Ben Q came in today and uh, as they will do, they gave a seminar with our sales reps team and our support team to discuss uh, what's coming out new and to talk about some of the things that are happening with the brand new HT8050, which is their 4K uh, projector, which we are super excited to have an exclusive deal with for the next couple months. And what we wanted to do while they were here was get them to sit down with us. We've had some customers call in. There's a bunch of questions about uh, 4K and specifically this unit. And let's get some information straight from the horse's mouth as it is. Um, so before we get into that, uh, first off, I want to say congratulations, Felix. Um, I was reading Projector Central today, and Evan Powell, who's the uh, main editor over there, uh, gave you guys a raving review uh, saying that this unit is basically indistinguishable from a native 4K uh, projector in that even when you're looking at it up close, right up to the screen, you cannot see you know, any kind of uh, weird pixel artifacts or anything like that. It's what you're getting from this unit is pure 8.1 million pixels, pixels on the screen. Yeah. Uh, actually, actually 8.3 million pixels on the screen. Okay. And uh, and thank you. That that's a very uh, nice compliment that you're paying to us as well as uh, the uh, article that was written on, on Projector Central, uh, it, which uh, Evan Powell makes a, a really good observation, which in which. The competitors, whether it's three LCD or LCOS based uh, manufacturers, they start out with a an imager that is native 1080p, and they do some processing. And the net effect that even after all the processing that they have done to the image, what you're getting on the screen is about uh, 4.15 million pixels. Uh, 4.15 million pixels is our base imager on this projector. And then after we are done with our processing, we step that up to 8.3 million pixels visible on the screen, which as uh, Projector Central pointed out, uh, you can actually see all 0.83 million pixels on the screen and it's virtually indistinguishable from a native uh, 4K image uh, from a much more expensive device. Yep, and you guys showed that in action today. We've seen it before, obviously we did a demo, but it was really impressive to see that, uh, especially with the, um, the footage that you guys were showing. You could see the pores on the people's faces and the hair. That was really one of the key um, points you guys were talking about. That was a big differentiator. So uh, it was incredibly sharp. Uh, you know, we're very happy that uh, you guys have achieved it. Now, you guys are doing that with the new Texas Instrument uh, micro um, micro mirror digital micro correct? mirror devices using uh, uh, Texas Instruments XPR technology. Okay, and uh, but you know what, uh, 4K is still relatively new in the market, and then there are some. Uh, my advice to some of our customers or consumers out there is that uh, if you buy one of these devices, one of the things that we advise is signal continuity because. This projector has HDMI 2.0. It also has HDCP 2.2. Mm -hmm. Mind you, 4K is the highest uh, quality image that uh, movie studios have released out there for public consumption. So they're very watchful. They don't want people copying the content, which is for obvious reasons. And HDCP uh, 2.2 is very stringent. So if you have your player, your device, whether it's a... Uh, uh, Roku or any type of uh, receiver or uh, blue, uh, 4K Blu-ray player, your signal has to be all the way through HDMI 2.2 all the way out to the, the projector. So if you have a, uh, an HDMI splitter or a, a, an AV receiver along the way, if one of those devices is not HDMI 2.2, that will uh, cause the, uh, the signal to drop down to the next lower level, which in, it, it's still beautifully uh, uh, a beautiful image on the screen, but it's not going to be your 4K at 60 hertz as most people actually want to see. Right, and that's one of the things that was really enlightening for us to understand today, uh, and we have gotten some calls about that, um, people understanding, in that uh, a lot of units, like you said, they're sending one signal out 
and they're using that same signal to send audio and video and that's really not recommended to get that that signal what the recommended way to do it and as I understand is to send the signal through HDMI and some units have this and then send the audio through something else maybe like an optical cable or through a separate HDMI to the correct. receiver correct correct yep that keeps that most. uh so let's talk about cables uh this is something that is also uh, come up with our tech support team we get a lot of customers calling in saying hey i'm having problems not just with your unit with other real you know native 4k units and stuff handshakes and it's not it's not working and it turns out they're using an older hdmi cable now you know a lot of people including myself are under the impression even a few years back that hey an hdmi cable is an hdmi cable it's a digital signal it's either on or off Mm -hmm. But that is not the case with HTCP 2.2. Explain why that is. Okay, so yes, uh, in the old days, as you pointed out, uh, an HDMI cable was an HDMI cable. Right now, with HDMI 2.0, the, the standard, uh, you need a, a, an HDMI cable that supports 18 gigabits per second mm -hmm. uh, bandwidth in order to be able to support the high data rate, the high amount of data that is required to be able to display all 8.3 million pixels on the screen for a 4K signal. So it is imperative that uh, customers purchasing one of these devices, that they uh, also go ahead and upgrade their cables, since cables are typically not labeled uh, 18 gigabits uh, per second, or it, it, since the cost relative to the cost of the projector is a fairly uh, inexpensive purchase while they're buying the projector from you what we also recommend is that they go ahead and buy the cables as well that way from end to end they will have a system that will support the, the high video quality excellent excellent point and yes of course we can help you out there um, let's talk about streaming 4k streaming uh, streaming devices and streaming movies over the internet it's become something that's just household, right? Everyone has Netflix or Amazon or Hulu or Apple TV and so on, even DirecTV. These guys are all offering what they say is 4K, right? Now we know, because we're in the know, that this is a highly compressed signal. It's, you know, it may be 4K when it gets shot out, but by the time it's getting to your house, it's not necessarily. First off, does the BenQ HT8050 accept this kind of 4K signal? And what can the consumers expect once they're trying to connect to that? Uh, that's a, a great point. Uh, I have run into uh, so, uh, these things. Um, for instance, we, we have, let's say, DirecTV 4K uh, service. And uh, if you're looking at an image that doesn't have a whole lot of movement, it looks beautiful. It looks great. It, it, and I highly recommend getting it. But just be uh, know, uh, know that the, uh, if there's a, a lot of movement in the image, there might be, because of the compression, there might be some motion artifacts that might be noticeable. And it's not due to the projector itself. It just is hmm. the high bandwidth that is required to get that signal over to the projector. It's just simply not feasible uh, due to the fact that we're sending these, some, in some cases via satellite, other, in other cases via the Internet. And uh, to be able to get that large amount of data, there's got to be a lot of compression, and that compression causes the uh, signal to, or the image in some cases, not to appear as crisp and as beautiful as it can possibly be. But um, if you actually want to see the full 4K and it's in all its glorious beauty, I highly recommend getting a 4K Blu-ray player, and there. Are, uh, they're becoming more and more common these days. The cost has come down considerably. Sure. There's a lot of content on 4K uh, these days that uh, will make the projector shine, and you will actually get to see the full beauty of the 4K image, and, and not only in its, uh, uh, the fine detail on the image, but also the, the color and uh, all the, the elegance that that image has on the screen. Yep, that makes perfect sense because a, a lot of people already understand they'll watch a movie on Netflix, it'll be HD 1080p, it looks great. You watch the same movie on an ultra high def Blu-ray and it's like you're watching something completely different. Like the Christmas is really there. Exactly. And that's just expanded four times fold or eight, you know, whatever for an actual 4K uh, image. So um, I guess kind of to wrap this up, is there anything additional you want people to understand about the HT8050? I mean, this is a, a glorious unit. One of the things we were talking about in here was how quiet it was, remarkably quiet. Um, it is, a, I don't want to say it's a compact unit, 
but it's a little bit bigger, and the reason for that is to help reduce that fan noise as well, right? Correct. So the way that we have designed this projector is that uh, we designed it a, a little bit larger in order to get the proper amount of ventilation inside of the projector without causing a whole lot of uh, fan noise. The, and speaking of fan noise, we have also moved the fans uh, to the rear of the unit so that all you get is this nice, even flow of air coming in through one side and exhausting it out of the other side. This also means that you can actually have the projector in a confined space without any type of overheating issues. So you have air coming in, air coming out, all from the front of the projector, and then you can have the projector enclosed and uh, either on the soffit or anywhere else, and it's not going to affect the unit. Great. Fantastic. Well, Felix, thank you so much. Um, Guys, we, we are super excited to see this unit. Uh, if you have any questions or anything you want to know or anything we didn't answer, leave a comment below um, or give us a call here and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks again. Bye-bye.